Hello and welcome to Schools Challenge TV. It's the final of the Schools Challenge Winter Series, a series of four 50 bird sporting shoots for under 21s throughout October and November with prizes worth a massive £3,000 to be won. Two young shooters have been battling it out neck and neck over the series, but there can be only one winner who will walk away with the top prize, a fantastic Bowman automatic clay trap. Will it be 15 year old James Lewis from Bromyard? That's why I came first in the other two I came second in so far. Or 16 year old Jack Brearley from Bridge North. I'm only I think about two behind off the whole championship going to the last one so hopefully I can pull it back and have a win. James and Jack tied on 38 at the first event in the series. Then James pulled ahead at the next event with 43 to Jack's 42. And he did it again at the third competition with 47 to 46. That leaves James two ahead with a total of 128 to Jack's 126 as they go into the final. But it's a small lead and there's still everything to play for. Yeah, soon catch up on me, yeah. Both want to beat each other, they're both mates, so it doesn't, you know what I mean? It's, it kind of makes it harder, I suppose, because you've got to try and be friendly as well as try and win. The battle is on. James and Jack shoot around the 50 bird course together, although Jack claims he's not keeping track of James's score. Uh, to be honest, I haven't been watching for that exact reason. <laughs> I don't, I'd rather not watch and shoot my bit and go. The low winter sun is causing problems on some of the targets. It's hard to see them against the light. Jack tries moving into the shade for a better view. Oh, the sun's right over the top and you can, can't really see what I'm excuses. Like, but just a reflection, you can try and see a reflection off the black clay. And if you can, you can try and obviously shoot it. You noticed a cunning move there, you tried to get yourself into the shade. <laughs> yeah, it's a move. Uh, it didn't, it didn't. It made it hard to shoot the clays because they're more they're more of a crosser then, coming towards like across your body, but at least you can see them better than that. Right, what's your step? So how's it going so far? Uh, well, I'm on, just finished my third stand. I think I've dropped about four or five. Uh, some silly misses as usual, but I reckon if I can get rid of those, I'd be all right. James has been struggling with the lights too, but is he managing to fight off Jack's challenge? I'm 41, so I'm going to go out again and see if I can improve it a bit. Jack's on 42, so... So you still run ahead? For now, anyway, yeah. I did all right towards the end, missed some stupid ones. I'm going to go back out. Go back out, hopefully get 45 plus. <laughs> That's what I'm aiming for, anyway. It's all still to play for. Both contenders are going back out for a second round to try and improve on their scores. Only three out of thirty, so it's going to be a bit better. Hopefully, I've got to hold it on to the end, and then you know, see how it goes. How did you get on? Forty. Forty. Yeah. Is that going to be enough? Ah, uh, I don't think so. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. no. Last time there yeah, was wasn't that great. Um, Which one was that? Uh, it was a crosser then and going away. Yeah, it's not my day. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, sounds like James has slipped. How's Jack doing? That oh, was your second round, yeah? Yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> and how did that go? Not the best. No? Nah. Missed some yeah. load of stupid ones, if I'm honest. But you weren't doing so bad. I started with I was doing all right and then dropped him in the corner and then yeah, just went from downhill from there. As they head back to the clubhouse, at least they still seem to be mates. But who has won? They've both ended up with 43. No, we have both shot the same and he was two ahead anyway. With James starting two ahead, it's him who'll take the prize. Before prizes can be awarded, we need some shoot-offs to sort out the ties. In the prep category, Toby Bennett is shooting against Nicholas Richings for the top spot. 
In the seniors, James may have won the series overall, but Ben McIlwain has shot the top score today, so James and Jack have to shoot off for second place. And the winners are... Nicholas Richings comes first in the prep, followed by Toby Bennett and Tom Scott. Jess Allen beats Izzy Doherty in second place in the ladies. Overall winner of the series is James Lewis in the senior category with 171x200. And overall prep winner is Toby Bennett on 165x200. Jack and James are both members of TSC Academy 2013. There are five spaces available to join TSC Academy 2014 if you are under 21 and want to take your shooting career to the next level. Sporting Shooter magazine recently called TSC the most successful young shots group in the UK. Email rosie at schoolschallenge.co.uk for more details. And now we have the Schools Challenge news. Amber Hill, holder of the Junior Shotgun World Record, is pictured here receiving Sports Aid's One to Watch Award 2013 from the Duchess of Cambridge. When she was 15, the school's challenge regular became the youngest ever winner of a senior World Cup in skeet shooting and finished the season ranked number one senior in Great Britain and number five in the world. Amber is also the first ever clay shooter to be shortlisted for BBC's Young Sports Personality of the Year 2013 award. The famous Schools Challenge Game Day is back on the 17th and 18th of December 2013. Just £299 for two full days of shooting, first clays, then a game day. To get booked in, please call Rosie on 01844 238 308. It's the CPSA Awards 2014. Get voting now, please. Maybe, of course, we would not want to sway you. You will vote for the school's challenge to win Development Initiative of the Year, as it is now the biggest Young Shots organisation in the UK, with a track record bringing Young Shots into our sport and sending them on their way to the top level of competitive shooting. The school's challenge has more new and exciting programmes starting in 2014. Watch this space. In the meantime, go to cpsa.co.uk and vote. The 2014 Schools Challenge calendar is out. Visit theschoolschallenge.co.uk for more details. As we near the end of 2013, it's a big thank you to this year's Schools Challenge sponsors. Thanks to them and to the hard work of the Schools Challenge staff, this year alone the Schools Challenge has introduced 1,500 new youngsters to the sport of clay shooting. Further up the tree, TSC Academy members have won more prizes than any other Academy group. This could not have been done without the help of the companies whose names are going across the screen in front of you. They range from shotgun manufacturer Browning through Breeden School in Gloucestershire to the national car dealership Stratston. They include companies from within the gun trade such as Bowman Traps, Edgar Brothers and John Rothery and companies you might not normally associate with shooting such as Keith Holland Associates and NFU Mutual Aylesbury. Think of them when you come to do your Christmas shopping. Now, young shots around the UK. That was the Royal Agricultural College in Sarancester. If you are out shooting, take a little film with your mobile phone and send it to rosie at schoolschallenge.co.uk. One of the highlights of the Schools Challenge Winter Series this year is Tom Scott. He started competitive shooting in August with the Novice Schools Challenge and just a couple of months later he shot 50 targets straight during the Winter Series. Well, when I first sort of told everyone I was doing clay shooting, they thought, oh, it's just clay shooting. But then I was sort of, everyone sort of going, oh, Tom, you're actually quite good at it. I heard you got 50 straight. So uh, my granddad even said at the start, oh, he's just clay shooting. But um, the other day he said, oh, it must be, must be quite good at it. And all my, one of my friends said, oh, Tom, I've heard you got 50 straight. I thought you were just doing it for a hobby. And I, I was just like, yeah, I just focused. And they said, oh, they want to try it. So hopefully trying to get them involved as well now. So it was good. What are your next steps? Uh, I'm just going to try and get as many competitions. Obviously the school's challenge next year. Um, try and go to the, some, um, the CLA Game Fair and, and the Midland Game Fair. Um, try and sort of just win some, some things, some prizes. Uh, get myself out there and just sort of get some experience and just progress from there, really. Will Tom be one of the shooting stars of tomorrow? Can you shoot like this? Find out more about the Schools Challenge programme at www.theschoolschallenge.co.uk That was Schools Challenge TV. I hope you enjoyed this programme. For more information on what we do and how to get involved in the Schools Challenge, please follow the links on the screen above.